Hi everyone. In the Schahistorisch Museet in Stockholm there is a model of a galleon that came from the great church in Stockholm, known as Stockholm Cathedral. The origin and date of construction of the model are not known. Only in a church inventory of 1830 there is an entry that the rather old ship before hung beneath the organ loft. The arrangement of gun ports and whales of the vessel side and the location and number of decks are consistent with the rules and specifications of the old ship builders. Thus, despite the missing parts, the model can be seen as a rare historical document. The Reconstruction of the Stockholm Galleon There is a book by Peter Keirsch, The Galleon, The Great Ship of the Armada Era, Conway Maritime Press, about the naval development of the 16th century. The unwieldy kerricks with their high forecastles and aft castles gave way to the galleons with an elongated hull and lowered forecastle. Kush's book is lively, describing not only the technological changes and advances, but also their advantages documented by numerous quotations from contemporary travelers and sailors. Many engravings of ships from the period are printed. Included in the book are the plans of the reconstructed Stockholm Galleon and photos of a model built by Keirsch in scale 135. Peter Keirsch dated the model of the Stockholm Galleon to about 1600, by comparison with contemporary engravings. The model is a typical votive ship. It was specially built to hang in a church, and the church visitors should see the model from below. In this perspective a bulky underwater hull would interfere, so the model was built too narrow. Therefore, for his reconstruction of the hull of the galleon Peter Keirsch referred to the English treatise of 1620. From contemporary rules governing the size and spacing of the gun ports he could derive the model's scale resp. The rigging he reconstructed from contemporary engravings. The rich decoration of the galleon shows elements of Christian and pre-Christian notions, that range from hell to heaven and include our world in between. As a ship on a long voyage was a world in itself. Of course an average merchant ship in 1600 was not as richly painted and decorated. The vessel that the Stockholm votive ship could have been modelled after was probably a large and representative ship whose decoration and elaborate rigging went beyond what was common and necessary. The painting below the whales that looks very much like waves is most probably only a votive ship decoration, whereas the painting above could have been on the original ship, too. This video include photos of some ships in Germany, Norway, and Denmark. The pictures are from Aarhus Cathedral, Holmans Kirk in Copenhagen, Aalesund Church and Marienkirche in Rostock.
Thanks for watching.